So the last review was actually the first Transformers purchase of the year. I know it is a overpriced start to the new year, but the second purchase on the other hand is very much more worth it. A masterpiece Transformer from what many consider their peak for 70 SGD. That figure is, as you can see by its legs, MP23 exhaust. So, this guy was obtained not from Mandrick, where I normally get stuff, but from a local online retailer called Oh My Primus. Very useful and convenient due to not requiring transport fees. I was just browsing their catalog to see if there was anything interesting and, well, stumbled upon something interesting. There was also only one left in stock. So that, coupled with the price and odd mode, which you will see later, was an instant buy. And man, no regrets this time. The bot itself is great. I just really, really like how everything looks on this guy. I love this head sculpt. It resembles a fusion of Ryuga from Kamen Rider Ryuki and Wheeljack that gave us a badass design that is the main reason that this has a completely different aura compared to Wheeljack, even though it's just Wheeljack. But colors also play their part. While I know this color scheme is due to the Marlboro livery, I prefer imagining it's due to all the stains he got while on the job. Because that these red bits are where stains are most frequent, he just decided to just paint, paint it over to just sort of save himself the hassle. And yes, I know Cybertronians don't bleed red, but I like to imagine that, just so it fits. And I mean, his job, according to this box is industrial espionage so i think he would have some blood on his hands or at least that's why you think cybertronians have i don't know i think it'll be energon as well killable wise only the arms have anything noticeable this spoiler bit right over here that sort of juts out but not too much because they aren't intrusive and eye-catching in fact, this figure cleans itself very well. These bits right over here, they're the doors. And yet they somehow feel like a natural part of his calves. These bits right over here, they're part of the tail lights and back bumper. But they don't really look like it. They look like bits of armor for his hands that give him a bit more impact in each punch. Sort of like a knuckle duster. My only complaints are first at the back where a gap exists right over here and it's better to look at from the side where it looks a bit unnatural it feels like something should be here to sort of curve up but there isn't and finally moving his hand up we have the sides which looks like they should be parallel to the windscreen in fact this gap over here and this bit over here also sort of hint at it but it doesn't that has bugged me to no end but compared to everything else these are very minor problems and ones that i can live with posability is a gold standard it's similar to the masterpiece side swipe mode with its hinge head swivels it's got 360 arm rotations that do get caught on his wings. Then you got out, elbow swivel, 90 degree bend, you got wrist, you got waist, but it is at the legs where we see massive improvement. We get unimpeded forward and backwards leg movement. Got that much. Now compared with sides right here, with, due to his design, you only get this much. It's extremely limiting. Couple that with his thigh swivels, the 90 degree knee bend, and a staggering amount of ankle pivot with some slight up and down movement. This makes this fantastic to move. It just makes him feel fantastic to move him and solves my biggest gripes 
with side swipe and his brethren and his brethren because I have a bunch of versions of him for some reason. It's just great. Accessory wise, he is packing heat. Wheel Jack's singular shoulder miss are not enough for you. Bam! Double the firepower. Now, fair warning, the shoulder missiles are actually separate pieces. So do be careful of that. And um, he does also have a blaster, but it is a carryover from Wheeljack. It's serviceable. You just bring his arms, just open it up, and just uh, tab it in like how you normally do it for like all the other masterpiece figures. Yeah, it's decent. And um, a one-off episode gadget I could care less about. Got these runners right here that house the side mirrors for vehicle mode because they are separate pieces uh, just like road rage and tracks and a card good stats well time for transformation Another draw to this figure is the Lancia Stratos Turbo Vehicle Mode. And the conversion to get there was a sublime experience. On camera, mm, not so much, but that goes to a lot of other Transformers. Off camera, oh, this thing is just great. Every part had a place to go. Everything made sense. It's a joy to transform. And I just love how the car looks. You see all these straight lines right over here. The way the windscreen has been designed, the sleek appearance. All these straight lines make it look like what the 70s imagined to be the optimal spaceship design. This was futuristic back then. And in 2024, breathtaking. Even better with weapon storage. Now, back of the car, there is an exhaust right over here. But if you think it's a bit too puny for you, there is this tab right over here, and you notice the gun has the perfect place to plug it in. And when you do, there you go. And when you do, there we go. A substantially bigger exhaust, which is his name, interestingly enough. And it doesn't even impede rolling. That is nice. Integration of weapons is always nice. And, um, you can just plug both missiles into here, I believe. I mean, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, all the high praises I gave, coupled with an extremely reasonable price tag, puts this in my top 10 purchases of 2024. And the year has just begun. You will not regret getting this guy. And I think with that, it's the perfect time to end the video right here. See you next time.